It's not only the younger people. Um, I think it's it's out there for everyone, whether you you know sort of young, middle, or um, or the elderly. I yeah. suppose you know it's it is readily available. It's you know, but you know it's probably a cheaper option. It's probably a quicker option, but that's yeah. not always the case. Um, for me, you know, you can go to a fast you know a fast food restaurant. You know, the drive-throughs of this world. But you can still get something healthy. Yeah. You know, it's not always about that sort of, you know, the big burger or the bucket yeah. of chicken or whatever. Could always so, get a wrap or something. Yeah, and that, and I think that's um, where now the big food chains are picking up on it. Yeah, And definitely. it is, you know, that you know, whether it be, um, you know, healthier ch chicken yeah. or salad wraps or whatever. So you don't always have to go for the option of, you know, the full calorie burger. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so the, the, there's lots available. And would you say it is predominantly within younger people as well? No, not at all. No. Um, you know, if you get out there and you certainly look, you know, um, around the town, cities, whatever. Yeah, it's there anyone. Is, it's Because it's, it's so available. Exactly, yeah. 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 It's, I think the fad diets are great, you know, if whatever. Um, Put a few pounds on everyone sort of gets a bit panicky you know before holidays or after christmas that sort of stuff um but i think it's about sort of recognizing you know it's a simple equation really about the calories um you know what you put in to what you get out of it and you know it's it's a simple maths equation really you know if you're having 2500 calories um you know and you're not burning that then it's got to go somewhere. Yeah. So, um, so you need to try and sustain that yeah, sort it of, is. Some um, of these diets where you're like not allowed to eat carbs for one month and you lose a mm. couple of pounds, you need to try and sustain the intake and outtake of I think food and it, exercise. I tried, um, you know, I've done a few London marathons and yeah. I tried for one of my marathons cutting out the carbs and seriously it was one of the worst things I did really? because it, it, I just felt so flat. Yeah. So put the carbs back in, completing the marathon. But again, you've got to be sensible. You know, if you're not training for a marathon, you don't need to be sort of carb loading. Yeah. Um, or half a marathon. But you know, it's, it's. I think if you have that all-round good balanced diet, you know, it's sort of rammed down the throats a bit now. You know, yeah. with you know the, the five a day, then it increases to ten a day, and then to seven, back to five. But I think if you've got a good healthy diet, yeah. you know, that a good all-round. You should be doing okay. Yeah, do you reckon the media influences that as well? Like they can do. Celebrities and things. I think there's diets. a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure. Um, yeah. Especially, you know, the young ones, you know, we've all been young and, uh, you know, yeah. sort of teens going into our 20s and, you know, you see, you know, these sort of celebs or whatever, you know, they're looking good. You know, it's, it's amazing what a bit of makeup can do. Yeah, that's um, true. But, you know, some people do train hard, some people not, um, and it's, yeah, I've always been lucky, you know, uh, I suppose being in professional sport for, you know, nearly 10 years, um, it was always sort of drilled into us to, you know, have that balanced diet, we did eat probably more than the general public because we were yeah, trying to, yeah, we were trying to put, you know, I was 15 and a half stone, and I needed to be up to that sort of 17 and a half, yeah. probably 18 stone for the position I played at the time. So, um, yeah, it's about sort of recognising what's what's good for you at the time yeah. and where you are. I think anything in moderation you yeah. know if you're if you're having a cheat day um, you know why not you know yeah. if, you, if you do sort of work out and you cycle you run or do whatever um, you should have a cheat day yeah you know it's you know I see guys at the gym you know and who are in competitions and their diet is you know pretty much fat fat free yeah because they're doing that for you know the strip in the fat yeah because they're you know in a in a competition but it's probably not the best thing to do for yeah. if you want a healthy lifestyle exactly. that's not it's, it's getting yeah. that it's getting balance. That, the balance yeah and um i think pretty much now you know 
packages are clearly labelled. Mm. And um, the thing is, as well, if you know, if you are struggling to recognise the nutritional, you know, per grams, per hundred grams, yeah. or you know, the fat and stuff, it's just recognise it. And everyone's got, you know, in, you know, internet access now or whatever. Yeah. There's always books available or whatever. Mm -hmm. So the information's there. Yeah, yes and no. I think we, you know, you look at, um, you know, the recent Olympics, you know, we came second in the overall table, yeah. um, you know, and that's great and I'm sure that will lift our nation, uh, you know, and our country and because, you know, um, you're surrounded by fit athletes, yeah. you know, and yeah, there is, I suppose, pressure, peer pressure to look good these days, but um, it's not compulsory. And it's finding that balance of what works for you. Um, for me, it's all about you know getting that diet, but it's also getting that fitness as well. Yeah. It's a real, it's a strict balance. I think uh, you've got to do something. You can't just go on a fad diet or yeah. even a diet. You've got to support it with something, whether it be walk, you know, gym, yeah. cycle. Mm -hmm. And the thing you now, you know, gyms used to be quite exclusive, but you know they're available 24 yeah. hours now. Mm -hmm. Uh, 24 7 and so cheap as well yeah they are a lot cheaper now yeah. um very low there's many local gyms as well there's there like, is and yeah. uh, you know we've said that um it's not only the the gym you know some people actually you know get probably um a bit sort of scared of going to the gym yeah you know if they are a stone a couple of stones overweight but you know there's always something now going on at the village hall yeah. whether it be zumba class mm -hmm. dance salsa Probably not for me, but um, <laughs> yeah. there, there is something there available for everyone in all walks of life. Yeah. And I think it's important that you get, it's, it's not the case of I have to do this, you know, I think you've got to enjoy it as well and yeah. get some enjoyment out of it. It shouldn't choose, be a chore. No, yeah. choose something that you enjoy doing. Yeah. And if you can, you know, get fit along the way, it's, great. it's a great mm. result. It was kind of drilled into us to look at, you know, fats and, and the carbs and um, and that I still to this day I do. Yeah. You know, I, I tend to look back of you know where what worked for us. Yeah. Um, sugars. I think if you want to drop anything out that you know if you want that's bad for you, I'd probably go the sugar because yeah. there's so much sugar now in most things. Yeah. And. Um, I think personally, you know, with if you want the fats from whether it be carbs or fish, meat, whatever, you're going to burn that easier than, than the sugars, yeah. you know, and the calories that way. Mm -hmm. um, you know, fizzy drinks, they're so readily available and cheap now. Yeah. Um, you know, I still love a can of Coke to this day just yeah. to probably as a training aid as well. Yeah. I wouldn't drink it as, uh, you know, an, an everyday. Every day, yeah. It's kind of. Not so much of a tree, but it's more if you know if I, if I've run six, yeah. ten, twelve miles or whatever. Yeah, or you go out. Or yeah, something. I'll go out. Um, what's wrong with a can of yeah. coke? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's out there. Um, certainly, you know, with you know the social media, uh, newspapers, Twitter, and all of this now. You know, the the evidence is there. You've got to actually. If you want to listen to it, digest it. Um, not everyone's got that access, you know. Yeah. But you know, if you pretty much now every newspaper you buy, every magazine, you know, they're, they're, it's there. It's yeah. it's in black and white, or even colours, you know, about you know if you have this, you will be fit. If you train this and what have you, I think if you take, you know, it's about taking the information in as well, and uh, and taking it in and what's because something could be good for me and not work for you or yeah. vice versa so um, yeah it's you, it's important you do something and um, and eat something that's good for you and works for you yeah so we, do you think we should make that clear in our documentary then yeah it, I think it's always good to to have a push to have yeah. a probably you know a bit of a stop of because you know there's no sort of hiding you mm. know there is obese people out there yeah uh, there's thin people out there but it's uh, sometimes you know uh, the things with the Olympics for example you know we did great in the medal tables and we're if you're on a sporting nation of heroes you know yeah. 
amazing athletes, you know, if you look at the rowers, the hockey players, mm. super fit guys, um, but they train the butt off to be there. Yeah, you know, exactly. everything's the nutritionist and whatever, it's all there for them. Um, but it's available for everyone. Yeah. But, you know, again, as I said, you've got it's that balance, the diet mm -hmm. and the training. I think the wood because I think the, the, the younger you recognise and it starts from probably, you know, as a young infant going into, you know, to yeah. the teens and then if you can, um, if you can educate yourself or be educated because then, you know, it's, it's so easy to probably tick off the decades um, because, you know, I'm early 40s now, I know I have to work harder than probably when I was in my 30s. Yeah. But it's, yeah, so it is, it's important. People think the younger you, if you won't get it, you know, the diet, the, the, the fitness thing, the easier then it is to take into, you know, the next steps of life into, you know, your 20s, 30s, yeah. 40s. So you think it, it, it's a lifestyle then? It's a it? lifestyle and it is. Um, you know, everyone's, it's so easy now. You don't even have to leave the house, you know, to, um, to do a shop anymore, you know, yeah. online and mm. stuff. One click, pay, and it's delivered the next day. Mm. So it's, and you can study, you know, everything's there. Probably, you know, it's an easy way. You know, we certainly do it, you know, uh, once a week, order online and stuff, and it's delivered. It's fresh, mm. it's healthy, and you can study it online as well. You know, yeah. with, before you actually, whereas if, you know, you go to the supermarket, you're probably not going to sit, you know, or stand there and study every gram, every you know, calorie, yeah. sugar. Whereas, you know, do it at home. Not a lot more convenient. Yeah, and yeah. it's also as well, you know, as a family, you can just shout out what, what do you want? This, this, yeah. this, this. You know, and if you don't want it, don't order it. Yeah. You know, by the checkout, you're waiting. Yeah. What's always to the right or left? You yeah. know, there's that sort of whether it be pastry section or chocolate yeah, or snacks. crisps. Yeah. And it's so easy. I'm, you know, I've not eaten today or whatever, and grab that. So the very, the very supermarkets are very clever, but yeah. they also they do recognise, you know, that yeah. there is, um, I suppose, you know, obesity out there. So it's that balance of mm -hmm. the good, but not so good sometimes. I think there's lots of stuff out there that. You know, before you know, it's like the rice cakes, that sort of stuff. Then probably not the most enjoyable thing yeah. to eat on their own. But you know, there's all sorts of low-fat spreads now. You can have them on, you know, the soft cheeses or yeah. whatever. Um, and you know, because it, it's the diets can be, you know, it, you know, if you're looked on as if I've got to eat that, but it's not very tasty. Mm. I don't. I'm, I'm lucky, you know. I I can have a tin of mackerel and enjoy it. The rest of the family probably don't enjoy the, the smell or whatever, yeah. <laughs> but, and it's healthy, you know, yeah. it's good fats, it's cheap, um, so yeah, it's, and it's finding something that works for you, and um, certainly, yeah, you know, you, you talk about, you know, butters, fats and everything, but, um, yeah, you find something that's right for you, and there's, you know, it's not only if you're on English now or European, there's all sorts of food across the yeah. world that, if you get the taste for, it doesn't always have to be unhealthy for you. Yeah. I think it's lifestyles, as you said earlier. You know, um, I'm probably look. You know, as a as a takeaway, we don't have a lot as yeah. a family. Um, we probably used to have more, but now I use it as a bit of a treat. You know? Yeah. I, I I really do think you know, have a cheat day. Yeah, um, definitely. It does work. It's kind. Of, I think it goes hand in hand with if you're on diets and you know that that sort of weekly content mm. because it's also by doing that you've got something if you want whether it be you know takeaway indian or whatever yeah. it's um yeah you know we're not robots mm. we're you know we can enjoy stuff as well yeah. i think it's it's finally getting the balance you know that kind of the, the healthy foods we're too hung up on diets. Get the you know get the healthy foods going. What works for you? What works for the family? And but it's really really important you get that balance as well because there's all sorts of fitness 
if you want uh, activities out there. Yeah. Not everyone has to go to the gym and beast themselves or cycle 1500 miles. You know, there could be a local sort of Zumba class or whatever that works for somebody. Mm -hmm. Probably not seeing myself as a in a Zumba yeah. class, but there's anything, you know, even Pilates, all that sort of yeah. stuff, it will work. And um, so it's important you get that sort of nutritional information, what works for you, along with some, you know, exercise, some activity, whether, you know, whether it be walking, cycling, whatever, you've got to get the two together. Okay. It, it goes hand in hand. Yeah, okay, thank you.